ladies and gentlemen, um, I got an email from a sister in Christ. Now, I don't know if the Lord wants me to talk about this topic. I don't know if it's something that, you know, my ministry is becoming diverse, meaning still under Christianity, but talking about different topics and tying it to the Bible to help bring some wisdom into the body of Christ because let's let's face it straight up. We got a bunch of goats on YouTube and they're not pre they're not spreading wisdom for real. They're spreading stupidity. I mean demonic knowledge. And we need some truth in the body of Christ. Amen. And there's only a few brothers and sisters out here that are spreading wisdom and godly knowledge directly from the Holy Spirit. You know, direct revelation from the Holy Spirit. We only got a few brothers and sisters doing that right now that are spreading godly knowledge as opposed to these demons out here spreading false doctrines, false demonic knowledge, man's knowledge. But anyway, I'm going to give you some wisdom today. As I always test the spirits, go to the Lord Jesus Christ in prayer. Ask with the Lord Jesus Christ if what I tell you is true. Don't seek my word for it. Don't take my word for it. Go straight to the Lord. This video is to, is to respond to a, girl, a sister in Christ, her email that she sent me today. Now, she's a sister in Christ and she said that she works with this guy at her job. Okay. And she said that she's really feeling this guy. I mean, she said the guy is is handsome, he's this, he's that, you know, he's intelligent, you know, he's good looking, all that, you know, and she's not just looking at the physical look, she says that he seems to have a good heart. Then I was like, okay, you know, I'm looking at the email and I'm like, okay, you know, the guy sounds like a, a, like a package, you know what I mean? Package that you got to get to know because not everything is always what it seems from the outside. You could find a, this, I'm going to give you an example of an analogy. You could be shopping for a house, right? And then you look at the house from the outside and it's got a nice lawn. The exterior looks great. It's beautiful. It's really catching your eyes, very attractive. And you know, you're really attracted to the house. You wanna buy the house. So are you gonna buy the house based on what the house looks like on the outside or do you wanna see the interior of the house to see if it meets your satisfaction? Okay, same scenario here. You know, the guy could be good looking on the outside, but who is he on the inside? Lord says for the righteous, the righteous are supposed to look and discern by the heart. Amen? So, that's what this sister needs to do in this case. Because she sent me the email, I said, okay, it seems like a good package, all right, fine, whatever. And then um, she proceeds to tell me, but there's one problem, Esmeralda. And then I'm like, Okay, what seems to be the problem? I'm just looking at the email. She says he's married. So I stop and I slow my roll from him. I'm like, what? He's what? He's married? Sister, anyway, so she says that she's attracted to a married man. How does she get these feelings out of her head? Sister, first of all, um, I can't sit here. I can't sit here and tell you that there's not a problem with what you're feeling. There's a huge problem with what you're feeling. You have a crush on a married man. You know that the Bible says that once you thought it in your heart, you did it. So it is a sin if you are feeling attracted to a married man. It is lust. You know that the Bible says that if you are lusting in the flesh, it is better for you. And I'm paraphrasing to take, pluck your eye out if you're looking with lust. It's better for you to pluck that sinful eye out than have the whole entire body burn in hell. Because you need to fear the Lord. You need to fear the one that could destroy the body, soul, mind, heart, and spirit in hell. So I cannot sit here and tell you I mean, that what you're feeling is a problem, a huge problem. And you need to pray to Jesus Christ, confess to Jesus Christ what you're feeling. Repent of it, go through the correction so the sin can be washed away by the blood of the Lamb. But baby girl, you cannot have a crush on somebody else's man. That's, first of all, it's a sin, baby girl. I'm saying this out of love. And secondly, it's straight up pathetic. Why are you attracted to another person's man? It's as simple as that. You know, um, 
There are plenty of single men out there. There are plenty of men of the same faith that are strong in Jesus Christ. I'm not saying that there are plenty of men out there. There are a few men out there of the same faith that are strong in Jesus Christ that would appreciate you for who you are, that are not attached to anybody or any way, that are not married, they're not engaged, they're not courting anybody. They're not anybody's man, period. Okay, so um, you told me he was married. I was going along with the email. I was like, wow, well, you got a possible candidate here. And when you told me that was he was married, it blew everything up in your face. I'm just saying that out of love, sister. You don't want to be attracted to some married man. Okay? You don't. Why would you want to have somebody's leftovers if you can go out and find you a real single man that is strong in the Lord? You don't want somebody's crumbs on a plate. Okay? Baby girl, I'm just saying that out of love. You don't want somebody else's crumbs. Find you a fresh package that is strong in Jesus Christ. Not some broke down guy that is married with that's married 10, 20 years, probably got like 10 kids, okay? And it's just portraying this facade in your workplace to make it seem like he's attractive and good looking. But when he goes home, he's a whole other person. How do you know he's like that? How do you know he might be good, be, be good looking on the outside, but how do you know what he's like on the inside? How do you know he's not putting up this performance in the workplace and he's probably knows you got a crush on him and he's flattered by the little crush you have and then he goes home and he's a total straight up skank to his wife and kids how do you know that's not the case so my advice to you like I said is to go to the Lord Jesus Christ ask for discernment discernment will help you to decipher with the Word of God most importantly with Jesus Christ guiding you, what is a sin? Why is it a sin? And will help you to discern what a person is like from the inside rather than looking on the outside. Okay? The Bible says that for the lack of knowledge, they perish. That means that the person doesn't know what they're doing is a sin because they don't stick and read. They don't read the Word of God and discern with the Holy Spirit's guidance. They rely on their own, man relies on their own knowledge and their own flesh when discerning the Word of God. And that leads to death because they're not understanding what the Word of God is saying. What is this obedience to God? What's obedience to God? And if you don't know what you're doing is wrong in God's eyes, you know, how are you going to know to fix the problem? How are you going to know to go to Jesus Christ and pray about it and say, Father God, help me fix this problem? How are you going to know it's wrong? Because then you're going to keep doing it again and again, and then it's going to result in your spiritual death. Meaning that if you keep sinning, and you don't know that that's a sin and you don't repent to God and you go on thinking everything is fine hunky dory God forbid something happens to you you're going straight to hell because you know baby girl you cannot get into heaven if you have one spot of blemish on you and that goes for every person you cannot get into heaven with lint on your white garments so with that being said like I said I didn't expect to talk about this topic I don't know why I'm getting more relationship related emails. This ministry, like I said, talks about demons, talks about different types of spirits, talks about the Word of God, preaches the gospel, gives you wisdom, gives you knowledge from the Word of God as it is written. In this case, this is giving you knowledge about lust, about how you cannot be attracted to another person's man. Especially a married man. You can't do that. Doesn't matter if he's married, engaged, or is courting someone else. You cannot do that. It's a sin. It's lust. Lust is one of the seven deadly sins. If you are in that situation, get out of it immediately. Go straight to the Lord. Ask the Lord Jesus Christ for guidance. Ladies and gentlemen, why would you want to get stuck with somebody's leftovers when you can find you a real man that's strong in the Lord Jesus Christ that is single in a fresh new package? You don't want somebody's baggage. You don't want to be attracted to a married man that probably got 20 kids, a husband, I mean a wife, I'm sorry, probably got like five, ex he's probably out working, on his, working on his sixth or seventh marriage, probably got like many babies, mamas, you know, a trail of heartbroken hearts and a whole bunch of emotional baggage. Why would you want that mess? Let the Lord Jesus Christ guide you and lead you 
and let the Lord find a suitor that is suitable for you. Like the Lord did for David and the Lord did for Solomon. Ladies and gentlemen, be blessed. Take care of yourself. I will upload another video pretty soon. I don't know what the topic's going to be on, but it's definitely going to be tied in with the Bible and end time Bible prophecy. Take care of yourselves.